should be going live any second, guys. Sorry if somebody's there already. <laughs> Sharing a couple links around. And we will see what we got. Hey, what's up, Ormond? Hey, man. Can you hear okay? Let's see here. Yeah, my mic's showing up there. I can turn it up some more and see. There we go. All right, so I'm playing over on Nick to One as a adult T-Rex. So we're gonna hop in, see if we can find some food. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that like is from you or mom. I appreciate it, <laughs> since you're the only person here. <laughs> Hey, we got another viewer. Wonder who it could be. But yeah, guys, if the game volume's too low or if my voice volume's too low, just drop something in the chat, let me know. I can see about turning one or the other of those up. We do not need night vision. It is daytime. This is kind of sneaky. I logged out over here behind Baybrook. Hoping that there would be Irvies still hanging out over here whenever I logged in. In fact, I'm going to see if the person I was playing with there. Nope, they're not on. Okay. And we're sneaking. Being very sneaky. I don't hear anything. Nor do I see anything. Hey, what's up, Captain Claw? Thank you for joining the stream. No Irvies. All right. We're gonna move along then. Three people watching. Thanks for joining me guys and gals. I don't know everyone's genders or preferred pronouns. <laughs> Sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise, a fan or something going on. It is Texas. And it is hot still here. We're still having 100 degree days pretty well every day. I am ready for October. It doesn't usually start cooling down around here until the end of October. Three views and two likes. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Captain Claw, I'm on Nick to one. You have a dino over here? Oh, tracks. I'll tell you my plan here. 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and head over to Lighthouse. See if there's any herbivores hanging out over there. Another popular herbivore spot. You have a Utah? Well, cool. Hey, Captain Claw. Did you figure out if that was one of your Alice horses that, that I killed yesterday? Pee pee. There's usually a ton of carnivores there. <laughs> Usually herbivores only hang out at PP if they want to fight stuff. If if you get a trike that just really wants to kill some Rexes, they go hang out over there. Or Shants. Whenever I had a Shant on this server, I would go over there and just walk straight through and see if anything would challenge me. I probably will end up at PP here before long though. We'll see. We'll see if we can find anything. There's 99 people on. Okay. So how'd you find the video, Captain Claw? Are you in Simo's Discord? I thought I heard an Oro just now. These loud stomps, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. The stream looks kind of laggy on my end. Is it laggy for you guys? Sniff is bugging. Sure is quiet on this side of the map. If we go over Lighthouse and there's nothing over there to eat or hunt, then, uh, We'll make our way over towards closer to the center of the map. Okay, cool. Thank you, Captain Claw. I appreciate the help. Because I am still fairly new to this streaming thing. I did a 7 Days to Die stream the other day. And the whole first half... You could barely hear me talking. Simo came in and helped me out getting the levels lined out. Now sometimes Irby's hang out right here where the river comes out from under the ground. Kind of in the swampy area. We'll peek our head in and see. One good thing about herbivores though, they never shut up. So you usually know they're around long before you get anywhere close to them. Because they just cannot resist making noise. But it doesn't look like anyone is here. And I don't see any fresh footprints either. So we're just going to continue on our way. There's a swamp over there, kind of southwest.
Come on, talk to me, Herbies. <laughs> he was screaming when I killed him, Captain Claw. Yeah. I was figuring I didn't think he had any idea I was anywhere around. <laughs> Yeah. Did he see the video? I still do not hear anything, but we're still kind of far away. getting dark. It'll be nine times soon. Let's see what time it is. About five in the afternoon. Aw. Well, I'm sorry I made him upset. Yeah, I, def I definitely don't ever want to troll anyone. Like, See, I was wondering if he was full adult or not because I one-shot him. I was thinking maybe he was kind of fresh adult. Or was he wounded whenever I hit him? Yeah. I don't know about our chances over here at Lighthouse finding anything because usually by now you start hearing some chatter. Well, the good thing, Captain Claw, is it doesn't take too terribly long to grow a, an ad, uh, aloe. Not like a Rex, it takes like seven hours to grow one. I think I heard something. Oh, okay. He just fought with a pack of Utahs. That makes sense then. Oh, we're further away than I thought. We might be too far away to even hear any herbies. I didn't know there were even Utahs around. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, he had run a long way. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> A pack of Utahs can be pretty nasty. Alright, uh... When we get up here above the river, I'm gonna cut to the left some more. And try to come at the spot where the Irby's like to hang out. 
from the left because everything comes from the center of the map kind of over far to the right so I like to come from the other way see if I can catch one off guard <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cross over now. See about getting a drink of water while I'm here. I'm pretty full on water. Simo said he was gonna be stopping by here in a minute. I gotta remember, I can still see pretty well. It's pretty dark for you guys. The gamma on my main monitor is just naturally pretty high. So I forget that I can see stuff that other people can't sometimes. Well, I'll be turning on the night vision here pretty soon. It kind of gives me an advantage when I'm hunting too, though, it's because by now a lot of Irby's and other stuff too are already turning on their night vision. I can still see them from further away. Every now and then you'll find some Utahs nesting around here. All the birds. I hope there's something to eat over here. I'm at about 75% hunger. Oh, 79. He had four in his pack, but one got killed by following running, running away from the Utahs, and the other got killed by the Utahs. Oh, man. That's rough. That's the owl, though, unfortunately. Hey, Mystic, good to have you. Hey, thanks for the subscribe. I'm assuming that was you, Mystics. Good to have you. Three people watching and three likes. Sounds good to me. The sniff isn't working. Again. Well, thank you very much, Mystic. I appreciate that. I've been playing around with editing and uploading videos, but I'm probably going to be doing some more streaming now that I feel like I've kind of got... YouTube and Streamlabs working together pretty well. Because before I was having trouble getting it all to work, but... It seems to be working now. I suppose it's just like anything else. You just got to get used to how it works and the ins and outs of it. And, and once you figure it out and it just clicks, then it's easy from there.
Nothing. Yeah, super dark. I'll go ahead and leave night vision on. Um, I'll turn it off every now and then. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What we got over here? Trike, maybe? Is that what I heard? Sorry, I keep turning the night vision off. I can kind of see better on this hill when I don't have it on. Yeah, Mystics, I finally found a good uh, OBS Studio tutorial on YouTube. Kind of got me what I needed to know. Uh, there's, I wonder if those are my tracks. I know those are mine. Hmm. Well. I don't know where he is, and it just got super dark, so we're going to continue on our way unless he starts making noise again. Try out the usual suspects, maybe go hit uh, Sanctuary. In fact... I was going to say we could go the back way, but I haven't done it a whole lot, and it's very steep in areas. It's a good way to break your leg, but you know what? That truck might be up there. That might be where I heard him. What do you guys think? Should I go up the back way there or just keep heading back west? Oh, your shant died yesterday on Nick to three. That sucks. Shants take a long time to grow too. Were you full grown, Captain Claw? Oh. Uh, got killed by staff. The back way? Alright. Mystic votes the back way. So the back way it is. Did you have it recorded, Captain Claw? They're pretty good sometimes about replacing stuff that they kill for a video if it was for a video or whatever i 
I know whenever they do hypo videos, if they kill a whole bunch of stuff, they'll go through and uh, replace people's dinos sometimes. Oh, it wasn't proper spawn killing. Gotcha. Well, that sinks. Well, if you want to grow another shant, maybe somebody will uh, will nest you in sometime. I think this is what I did last time. I turned right up here. It's kind of sketchy doing this in the dark when I haven't done it that many times. <laughs> um... I think I screwed up here. I think I'm supposed to keep going. There's a really low population of chance at the moment. All of them are females and no males. Yeah. Yeah, and they gotta have males to, to nest according to Nectar rules, huh? What's funny is the last time I did this little trek the back way, it was night time then too. Oh, all of your herd died too. Man. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to mess with that Ava. Yeah. One of their bodies next to a Rex when you spawned in. Well. That answers a question I had about AI spawning up here in the middle of nowhere. Apparently it does. I hear a taco, an oro, and a neva. Literally spawn, look through the wrecks, walk slightly down the hill, it falls only a bit, and Ava attacked me. <laughs> what kind of dino was Ava? A Rex? Okay, this is looking familiar. <clears throat> All the ambient noises. Sometimes I hear something that sounds like big footsteps. But if that trike that we heard came this way, then that means we might run into something sanctuary. Oh, Giga. The bleed got you and you had no stamp. 
Yeah, that's rough. You have an adult Maya now? That's good. Mayas are fast. So sketchy. I feel like at any second, I'm gonna start sliding down the hill. Break my leg. Okay, there's Sanctuary down there, I think. The little blue dot. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna hit that Z walk on the way down. Ooh. Scary. <laughs> I hate that sliding animation. Yeah. The chance can be pretty boring. That's why I, uh, I kind of go looking for uh, fights whenever I play chant. Oh, cannot believe I didn't break my leg just then. I'm in a pickle now. Maybe. Killed two Rexes and four Gigas in your chance lifetime in one try because it wouldn't go away and it was eating your food. Yeah. Chance and tracks do not get along. Stomp on their heads. this trail here let's see Gotta find something to kill. Make this stream exciting, worth watching. Okay, here we go. Found a trail. Here, your taco. I'm hoping for something bigger than a taco. Solo trike or something. That'd work. <laughs> that lets babies live, though. An Austropat got him? That's... That is savage. Little giggle chickens killing babies. I guess that's the only thing they can really hunt, though. I mean... It's not gonna like they're gonna hunt anything bigger. You know what? I am not even going to bother going up into Sanctuary. I'm just going to go ahead and go this way and see if I run into anything.
There's a Rex over there. What do you think, Captain Claw? Should I try to fight the Rex? Or should I try to be friends with it? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Kill it. Okay. We'll try. Break its bones. Yeah, that's the only reason I don't like fighting other Rexes. It's because they can break my bones too. But I think I can sneak up on him without him knowing I'm here. Maybe. Ah. Trucks up there. Top of the mountain. See the Rex's tracks over there. Looks like he's going the other way, though. Let's see. Kill the track, kill them all. <laughs> well, that footprint pace faces back towards me. Well, the thing is, oh, I see it. Does he have a body? I think he has a body up there. There's something down right here. I wonder if his mate died. I might have said that already. Got one. Three, four call. Oh, he didn't four call. I got both of them. Killed both of them. Bodies. 
You guys see any bodies? I wonder if they're even talking to me. Only nine bleed. That's not too bad. Thank you, Captain Claw. <laughs> He's saying I didn't three call. Yeah, I did. I told him I have it on stream. We'll see. Uh, Ar Arabella says, I saw you fighting Gigas. You didn't four call. I try to be nice, Captain Claw. He's salty. Typing ASMR, yeah. <laughs> hey, we got two gigabodies. That'll last us a while. Nah, I'm not worried about it. I've got it recorded. I three called. We'll see. Don't I have a spectator as well? Yeah, Arabella, I think it was. Yeah, Arabella. Hey, um, Captain Claw, if you don't mind, can you look and see back on the timestamp 
and uh, see if you can see where that fight happened. I know it wasn't very long ago. And if you can, just send it to me on Discord. That way I can uh, I can handle it if somebody takes over the uh, report. Let me see if I can see it. I'm going to mute my uh, mic real quick, guys. I'm still here, though. I'm gonna... Yeah, I got it, Captain Claw. Thank one. you. Yeah, and I clearly three called too. Three, four call. Oh, he didn't four call. I got both of them. Hmm. Well, Oh well. Five seconds is plenty of time to four call. <laughs> Whatever.
was hungry. Ninety percent. Yeah, my food's glitched. I'm gonna get out of global chat. Whatever. good thing is I deal with reports all the time because I play Rex and people get so mad whenever they get killed and I kill a lot of things so the only thing I could say is I'm I could have given a little more time to uh, to four call but I mean in a situation like that where they had already gotten me up to third screen, I mean, he should have four called. Sorry, my mic was muted. Let's see here. Go to Nicta. Everybody else missed it, Captain Claw. You got to see me kill two gigas.
so far. No report yet. They're probably watching their replay. Yeah, Captain Claw. It makes up for all that boring stuff I was doing before. Going around the back way. <laughs> Yeah, he had plenty of time, and he saw his buddy fall. So, like me, if I'm in a fight and I see a body fall like that, I'm going to go ahead and four call if I don't want to continue the fight. I decide immediately when a body falls if I'm going to keep fighting or not. Yeah, I've got the reports up on my phone too. We'll see. Because... I don't think either one of them was injured. They, one of them might have had a broken leg. I don't know. If one of them had a broken leg, then I was free to attack. But, And I think one of them did have a broken leg. That's why he was laying down up here. The other thing is, me being on the side of this mountain like this, like if they decided they wanted to eat me, which they probably would have, like I would have, wouldn't have been able to get away anyway. You will win anyway, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, we'll see. take global chat off for now
Yeah, I know I heard A Rex, but I think he went the other way. Then I saw more footprints. But. <laughs> well, while I'm sitting here by my bodies, I think I'll have some of my lunch. That's good to know, Captain Claw. But sometimes... Sometimes that's okay. Because, like, the rule is for Dillos to be able to attack solo Apexes, and I think it's the same for Utahs. You have to have a full pack. And so whenever there's so many dinos in the area, it kind of mean It kind of makes dropping the body a little easier in my experience um i was over by the cave pond one day and dillos kept attacking me and i just kept dropping them but yeah no i appreciate the warning i try not to hang out around party too much as a solo rex anyway because that's just asking to get killed by a Rex pair. Like Gigas, I don't mind too much. They do a lot of bleed, but I can break their legs and get away if I really need to. But... Rex pairs, I try to avoid as a solo Rex. Checking reports channel again. Okay. 
That person still hasn't reported yet, Captain Claw. They might give up on it. Sometimes we have three full packs of two or one when others are nesting. Yeah, but when it comes to that, like, if there's two full packs, are y'all allowed to share food? Like, what's the max? I think the max pack size for Utah's is eight. So if you have two packs of eight at party, you essentially have a pack of 16 that aren't technically in the same pack. I'm kind of surprised that the Nicta staff uh, doesn't have a problem with that. It's interesting. I'm going to have so much food for a long time. See if uh, no Uncle Buck's not on. Big Mama's not on. Snowy's not on. Still no report. Okay, so. Hashtag we had a war with the Dillos today. Three, four, five, two. Take turns going Utah rocks. Sometimes we turn on each other and then it's war. One Dilla death, two Utah death. We lost, so we logged. <laughs> so, um, we are all in the clear if they report. So, um, I was right. They were trying to get up to the trikes and dibbles, and one of them broke their leg, so they were injured. And if one of the Apex pair is injured, a solo Apex can attack. So I am completely in the clear. He did break his leg trying to get up to uh, the Ceratopsians.
Oh, para down there. Now what on earth? I heard that Ava cry just now. I wonder if he fell. Made a damage noise. Still no report. Once we had two rival Utah mega packs, my mother was injured and they rushed in, killed her in an instant, and got us to go away later. Found out they all died from Dillos. I locked for two weeks. Came back to be told all my pack was dead. Well, the original pack. Yeah, that's rough. Where did that sub giga even come from? I didn't even see him walk up. Oh, you killed admins don't slay? <laughs> Best vacate, sir. All right. One gigabody down. I wonder if I should go get water now. Now 
let's see if I can get down the hill without breaking my leg. That's a devil. Let's see if I can get back to that. Keep not vision off. It helps. If it helps you, I would do the same. This. It's really how I play, like I turn it off and on all the time anyway. I'm just going to grab some water and go back up there to my body. We'll see. Oh, crap. <laughs> Random camera. <laughs> well, that surprised me. I was turned around looking to see how well I could see that cliff up there. There we go. A little brighter now. Arrow of Terror is boring. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Like. It seems like. A lot like the aisle, just different in a few ways, and the ways that it seems different, which, you know, basically just graphically. To me, it's worth it to play this instead because. There's a Giga Body. Play this instead because uh, it looks better, looks less clunky. It's prettier to look at. More people are playing this, it feels like. More interesting. So. good if you don't have enough money or don't want to get the aisle or waiting for a discount is the aisle still twenty dollars I don't even remember
Well, I don't really want to mess with these trikes. And that that Dibble is Arabella. Um, and they were uh, helping me out look at the replay to verify that the Giga did have a broken leg. So I'm going to leave it alone. Once this Giga body's gone, I'm probably going to call it for this stream. Global chat's getting a little ribbled. I'm over here talking to a muted microphone. Pro streamer. That's a pretty good screenshot there. Look back this way, Rex. There we go. see I'm gonna turn off my head tracking make sure I turn that back on because that will be a mess if I get in a fight and don't have it
Yeah, that guy must have known that he wouldn't win the report because uh, he still hasn't reported. To call my own Just rolled over midnight So is this mostly what you play, Captain Claus? They all you play other stuff too. <laughs> it's just a little bit salty. Salt shower. I hear chubby people running around. Try to dibble. No, I guess just dibbles. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought another one broke its leg. Play the Isle, Monster Hunter, and sometimes Minecraft with my friends. Hey, uh, oh, on PS4. I was going to say, if you wanted to send me the server, you play on Minecraft, I'd join, but I don't have it on PlayStation 4. I mainly do all my gaming from my, from my PC. It's just easier. And plus, I like to record now, or I've gotten into recording recently and some streaming, so... If I stop to play a game, most of the time it's going to be here on the PC. I do have Monster Hunter on PS4, though. I haven't played it in a long time, though. It was fun. You have Java Minecraft? Yeah, that's what I've got on PC. Oh, okay. It seems like there's a ton of servers. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time looking for a good one to play on. I've been playing on uh, on just a private server or a private game, local. Yeah, I saw that. There's reports coming in, but I don't see any about me either. Which, you know, I wasn't really worried about it because I knew that I had a leg to stand on because I did three call... They did have a broken leg. I could have given them a little more time to four call, but in a situation like that, you know, he should have he should have immediately four called whenever the body fell, so we'll see. You play on high pixel? I'll have to look into that.
Yeah. Which, you know, I'm thinking those guys might not play much Apex since it was kind of easy to kill both of them. Um, so, it just might be a matter of them being inexperienced, not knowing what they're doing. But, oh well. It was very quiet over here. I thought you'd be dead, but you killed them, so they might be. <laughs> well, I mean... I knew... I knew that I was taking a chance attacking them. But I also had the element of surprise. I got both of their legs broken quick. Which one of them actually already had a leg broken from uh, the mountain. So, and plus, if I'm being 100% honest, I did it for the stream. Give you something to watch instead of more boring, just walking around doing nothing. Thank you, sir. Glad you enjoyed it. Maybe if I keep doing things like that, I'll attract more viewers to the stream. Which I know, it just takes time and consistency doing it to gather an audience. So, that's what I'm going to try to do, is just be consistent and, and stream fairly often and record and upload videos fairly often. Because, you know, Simo, Simo's been putting up videos for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of time to grow a Giga. And the thing is, they die pretty easily to Rexes. And T-Rex being one of my favorite dinos anyway, and for them to be as powerful as they are, like, I've... I have only a couple of times grown a Giga to full adult, and it takes so much time, and they're not as powerful as Rex's. So to me, I would rather put that time into growing a Rex and play something that I, I really like playing. But that's just me. Yeah, but what I was saying, though, is Simo's been putting up videos for a long time. And for him to have the following he does now, you know, it's taken years and years of him being consistent and putting up good content and, you know, interacting with the chat a lot and, you know, cultivating that following. So, I figured I play a lot of games anyway, and I might as well be doing something with that time. And I had mentioned a while back that I wanted to start streaming and recording, uploading things. And I had mentioned it during one of Simo's streams and everybody was like, yeah, Ben, you got to upload stuff. You got to stream, you got to do it, this, that, and the other. And then when I finally started doing it, it's like, okay, 
two people watched it. <laughs> but it takes time. Yeah, new players. You know, the way I learned this game, because whenever I first started playing the Owl, I had no idea what I was doing. And my favorite dino is Rex. So I spawned in as a Juvie Rex because I was like, heck yeah, it's a dinosaur game. And I can be a Rex if I want to. So I just spawned in as a Rex. Joined a random server on uh, the Isle V3 map. And walked around and starved to death two or three times. Yeah, Simo works very hard, very interactive. He's he's really the only person I watch stream because of that. He he's fun to watch stream because he he talks to the chat so much. And you learn playing Aloe and Serato in Utah. Yeah, so after I did so terrible letting a Rex starve to death a few times, I was like, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. And so I looked up what I should start as, and somebody suggested Utah. And so I was like, okay, well, raptors are pretty cool dinos too. And what I did was I grew a Utah, basically parked it on the rocket party, and watched Apexes fight each other to learn how to play. So, oh, body just turned to ribs right in front of me. Well, right behind me. I'm going to leave it on night vision. It looks like it's still pretty dark on the stream. The sun hasn't been up long anyway. The other thing that helped is I found a nice quiet place to grow one. Good place to grow Rex on Thin Yaw is over at the top of Mage River. Really quiet over there, hardly anything ever comes up there. You were Serato and just watched Apex's fight and when they went after me I ran. I chose Serato because it has a chance at winning a fight. Yeah, plus they're fast and you can get away in a hurry. If you need to. I've grown those size carnivores before, but I kind of like uh, Aldo better. I mean, they're still fast, not as fast as a Serato, but they're still pretty fast. And they do a ton of bleed. What do we have down there? Giga? Or a Rex? Way down there at the watering hole, there's something. Looks like a Giga. Wonder if that's the same Giga. Wonder if he's a fresh adult now. You're learning how to play Suko well in the bio owl at Gulf. You got it to adult, learning how to just sit and ambush when young dinos come to water to drink. Yeah, that seems to be a strategy for a lot of them. Well, 
I could dispute it for territory, but I still have ribs here. And plus, I'm probably going to call the stream quits after this, so. I don't want to sit on another body. He might be going up the back way, the way I came. Yeah, he didn't look full grown. He didn't look very big at all. So. I don't even know if he sees me. It actually doesn't even look like he's grown. Looks like he's still just sub. He still looks like a little boy. <laughs> little Dibble came up to eat. You better keep walking, dude. You're too close to my personal space, even if you are after the devil. Yeah. You should leave. Four call. He's watching that camera. Good luck with that, dude. More power to you if you decide to go bite the camera. If he tries that, he is extra stupid. Because I'm pretty sure the camo will put him on fourth screen just with one tail, tail swipe. And if he gets a stomp in, that's it. That's game over. I was kind of surprised whenever Fisher made his server, I played a little Suko just kind of jacking around, and they hit pretty hard. 
a couple of the guys were Aloes and Serratos. And we were doing like a deathmatch thing. They hit hard. I was able to kill both the Serato and the Allo. Swamps and places with deep water are good. Just sit at golf until you grow to 100%. At that, uh, that golf pond? Or is it, yeah, golf pond? With the rock in the middle of it? I guess that's Pride Rock. There's three that can take down a full adult Rex. Yeah. As long as one doesn't get his leg broken, I'm sure. Yeah, I believe it. One Suko can kill four Allos. They're tough. They really deadly bleed. I'm going to go get some water. While I'm trying to get this body gone. I wonder if that sub giga moved along. You know what? I think he's actually fresh adult. Either that or just a really big sub. He's running for his life. <laughs> Just sitting back here growing. Not mid sized creatures like Stego, Maya, Para, Chance, young ones. Every carny smaller than us. Yeah. It's a pretty good strategy. Or if those ribs are still up there. Sometimes they despawn when you walk away from them. Look at this guy.
He's going to go up there and eat on my ribs. Look at him. What do you think, Captain Claus? Should I kill him? Should I kill him or let him go? Kill him. Hashtag. He ate your ribs. Look at him. He came up here and tried to crouch down to hide. Ah, I'll let him go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured too. So I'm going to come down here and see what he says. theory there is hit hard man Oh, uh, did the little devil break his leg? Yeah, he broke his leg, poor thing. Yeah, I could kill it if it's alone. It's another body I have to sit on though. Walk back here and see if there's anything going on back here towards the water. And if not, I'm probably going to go ahead and call it quits for the stream. Been streaming just about right at two hours now.
You only kill Juvies if you're Suko, Aloe, Strato, or Utah. Aloe, if you have a pack, you don't kill Juvies. Yeah. Well, since I mainly play Rex, I I don't really kill any Juvies. If I can help it. I have killed Juvie Rexes before as a sub. But most of the time I leave Juvies alone. You only kill Apex Juvies. Yeah. Well, at that point it just makes sense. Like, it's insurance for the future. Killing Apex Juvies. So, we'll fill up in water, find a good tree to park behind. Maybe give a good one call and then end the stream. But thanks for hanging out, Captain Claw. I appreciate it, man. And I'll uh I'll probably see you over on one of some of those streams or something. <laughs>